Welcome back, guys. So, I'm in a kind of a different spot right now, like a different recording location, just because it's like 11 o'clock at night, and I want to unbox this, but I also don't want to disturb anyone. So, we're in the basement. But this is my Amronic RG405M, and I am here to unbox it. I didn't want to wait till tomorrow to unbox this because I wanted to use it and get some use out of it tomorrow when I'm going to be, like, out of the house doing some stuff. Oh, that's just ink. I was like, why is there blood on my finger? Ugh, Jesus. Should have cut it a bit more, but now I'm too stubborn. There we go. I've said this plenty of times before. I love how Ambernick is so committed to trying to keep their devices safe while traveling. But my God, this is so annoying to open. Okay, there we go. Now we have this. This case is significantly bigger than the one for the RG35XX. But I mean, the device is also kind of bigger than the RG35XX. So I got this thing because you guys said you wanted me to review it. And also because it's using the same chip that a lot of other devices that are cheap have been using, the ticks, like the same internals. And I wanted to go over, I wanted to review it because I feel like this form factor would be great for a chipset like this. I'm not so sure about the thumbstick and D-pad placement, but I'll probably get used to it. I, tr I like zooming in, but like I don't want to use 2X and 3X seems too close. Ooh, okay. I ordered like the green, I mean the the like silver version, but the, the photos made it look more green. So here's the device itself, we'll get to that in a second. There's a screen protector, like there is in basically every Ambernick device box, which I really appreciate. I assume this has the charger in it. I don't know why that was so annoying to open. It doesn't come with a block, they went the Apple way, but they've been doing this for a while, so it's not like it's new. Oh Jesus, I'm pleasantly surprised by the length of this cable. That's how long it is. You see that? So let's get to the device itself. Let's see if I chose the right color. Maybe black would have been better, but I mean, can't change it now. Okay, this is, oh, this is like the perfect size. Oh. Okay, these trigger buttons already right out of the box. I'm not sure how much I love them. Cause for something like the RG505, that thing was wide and gave a lot of space for these triggers. This, this is like thinner and they didn't even make the shoulder buttons as wide. And they also don't feel that good if you're like pressing them in certain places. The D-pad actually feels pretty good. So that's something I can't complain about. Uh, there's the power button on the top, on the correct side this time. Start and slide buttons are at the bottom, like on the Odin and they're very clicky. Headphone jack, do you want to focus please? That's not even focused. Come on. Headphone jack and SD card slot. That's not even focused. Oh my gosh. Never mind. Headphone jack and SD card slot on the bottom with some speakers and a USB um, port on the top. Let's see if this thing turns on. The problem with me doing this in a different area is that I don't have any like ROMs or anything with me. So I can't like test it right now, like right here but at least I could test out the hardware and give my first impressions on that. I don't know what that's about. Oh, they're doing that weird thing. What? What is going on? Hello? What is going on? Don't tell me I waited like a whole week for this thing to arrive just to get a faulty unit. What? Oh my gosh. Ambernick, come on. What is going on here? Okay, I'm gonna... This is like the first time this has ever happened to me when trying to review a device. So I'm gonna like try and set this up the best I can and also email Ambernick to see what I can do about this. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I guess I'll see you later. I was already gonna cut to tomorrow because I have to set this up, get games on it and like test it out and stuff. But this is a different kind of cut. I mean, look at this. This isn't even functioning. Like I can't even use this. What is this? And just so you know, they did not know. They don't know about you, my YouTube channel. So this is not like they gave me a faulty unit on purpose or they gave me a defective one for some reason. Like they didn't do this on purpose. 
I don't know why they would, especially if they did know that I'm making this video, but this is the first time I've ever actually experienced something like this. This is crazy. All right, I'm, I'll see you guys later. I'm gonna figure out what I can do about this. Okay, so like a month later, after a bunch of emails with Amber and Nick, they did decide to send me a replacement screen that I can use to put into my device. And what you're about to see is me assembling it and then giving my first impressions. Okay, finally, Jesus. So here's the RG505, 5405M, stupid name, that I haven't been able to use for the past like, what, three weeks? Four weeks? Because Amber Nick sent it with a broken screen. But now we have an apparently good one. I hope it's good. Uh, they said the replacement process is easy. I hope because this is so big, they've like included their own like replacement instructions because I want to be helped when it comes to making, uh, fixing this. Cause like I could probably figure it out, but I mean, the likelihood of me breaking something is very high. Okay, looks like they didn't send instructions. Thanks, Amber Nick. They just sent the entire front like shell. Oh, Jesus. Probably not the smartest thing to do, but I mean, they're the ones who wrapped it in this absurd casing. Imagine they sent me a shell and not a screen. I'd be so mad because they shipped this out like three weeks ago. But safe to say, if this is actually what I need, Amber Nick's customer service isn't that bad. Yeah. Okay, here's what they sent me. So it's literally just the front panel and the back. But, so what, I just have to move everything over? In the email they sent me, they said, you only need to disassemble the shell on the motherboard and reassemble the new screen and shell. Uh, which, I mean, probably is much easier said than done, but I guess we'll find out. I have, I do have a toolkit, which will make this much easier. Honestly, without this toolkit, I never would have been able to get this open because they use like some weird kind of screw that without this toolkit, I never would have had. All right, I just, made the executive decision to say that this is going to be too difficult to do while also recording it. So I'm going to come back when I have this all disassembled and then I'm going to show you what I've done. So just for a reminder, this is what it looks like when it turns on. See how that does not look good. We're going to power it off and I'm going to fix it. Okay. So I'm about halfway done moving this stuff over. I've gotten this side done. Now I just need to work on this side. Okay, so I got this side done. I need to change, I need to move this cable over. Uh, but besides that, I'm pretty much done. They didn't give me a replacement for that light that's supposed to go on when you like turn on the device, which is really annoying. Like that light there, there's nothing here. There's nothing there, I'm just super annoying. But oh well, I'll get over it. Come back when I have it fully done. I accidentally plugged it in before I started <laughs> recording, but it is now working which is really good. And see how there's nothing there? Focus, please. Oh my gosh. Okay. There's nothing there. There's no light there. There's also no speaker grill. I mean, there's no like grills for the fan. So we'll have to see how that goes, but the screen's working. So let's turn it on. Keep this. Oh, oh that looks much better. So it comes with a bunch of emulators pre-installed. Not sure how legal that is, but I'm going to put some ROMs on here, test it out a little bit, and then give you my initial impressions in a little bit. Thankfully, it now works. I don't know how I'm gonna light this because I can't find the light, like the cable for my other light. I also don't want it to be super dark and that just looks unnatural. So I don't, I don't really know what I'm gonna do. Okay, let's see. I have a desk lamp here that's like really bad. Let's see if it works. You know what, that's not that bad. So sorry for the bad lighting. We're gonna stick with this for right now. I just wanna give my initial impressions of this device, the RG5405M, uh, right after unboxing it after the fiasco that was the broken screen. So I am glad they got that to me because I do actually enjoy using this device. Um, but it is very annoying that it took so long to get to me and that it even came broken in the first place. So something I've noticed about this device, you're not gonna see anything different compared to a lot of other devices um, in terms of emulation, but this device is um, very comfortable to use. Like I know this form factor looks a little weird, like the rounded sides, the 
triggers. I think I actually did something to this trigger while I was opening it up because this does not feel as good as the other one, but that's besides the point. The D-pad, and I was also complaining about the D-pad placement in my videos talking about the RG405M uh, before I got it. And this is actually pretty comfortable to use. The only uncomfortable part is the left on the D-pad, but even then, that's not really that uncomfortable just because my hand's big enough to where I can like rest it like this and I can still use it. But I've also been trying out some 3D games and they've also been comfortable to play. Like Luigi's Mansion is a little annoying because you have to hold B to turn off the flashlight and then move your finger to um, the C stick to be able to move around and catch the ghosts. But besides that, this is a very comfortable device to use. It may not be super powerful. I really do want to see other companies move away from this T618 chipset, but for right now, this is really good. And I'm gonna save the rest for my full review, which should come out next week, hopefully. And I will see you guys then with my full thoughts. And I already like this device. My initial impressions are that it's really good. So let's see how that translates into a review. Goodbye.